world of YouTube. True crime tips and everything else. And tonight we're doing a movie review, and I hope I'm the first one that puts it up. Um, huge Halloween fan since the day I watched my first film back. <clears throat> I believe I watched the first Halloween from 78. Damn phone. I believe it was back in 83. Uh, maybe even sooner than that on the TV. <clears throat> but, um, huge fan. Huge fan. I even have a mask, as anybody knows and saw my video last year that I made. Uh, Halloween with Michael Myers. Playing with my kids there and uh, making them fine. I keep shutting off early. I have a huge problem with my friggin' phone. I can't stop it from not shutting the screen off. But um, I'm gonna put my hand over here. But I've all, I did even go to the Rob Zombie premiere, dressed up as Michael Myers. <laughs> That's right, folks. If anybody wants to check that video out. But, um... And mind you, when the third installment comes out with this film, I will be dressing up again as Michael Myers. As they claim Halloween is going to die. Um, this... Movie not only was a fucking masterpiece and I have to say it that way um having John Carpenter and uh <clears throat> even Jamie Lee Curtis as a like an executive producer I believe oh man they, they're right they made this movie a masterpiece and how they put it through this movie all rolled up from the first movie. And I recommend everybody get out there and watch it. If you've watched it, I'm sure you're in total agreements with me. That they did very damn well. With the, um... How they rolled this film in. Now, of course, we're gonna go and talk about all the other films that were... <clears throat> pretty much, you know... You can say a disaster. I mean, even Rob Zombie kind of got a... <clears throat> I mean, I liked his first movie of Halloween, but the second one was just, you know, eh. Even though I love Rob Zombie's music, White Zombie, you know. But, um... Yeah, it was kind of a, eh, hit and miss. But, of course, all the other movies... And I don't know where they went with Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Because that had nothing to do with Michael Myers. And it was friggin', you know, if anybody's seen that. I mean, it was kind of alright in a way. But for them to put it in as a Halloween movie, you know, dude, and you, due to having Michael Myers involved when it was kind of dumb. I mean, if it was just a Halloween mask movie like the movie was I mean not being related anything with the do with Michael Myers it would have been better but that's what they did with it and of course they made it you know it should have been something of its own and that's the only way I look at that movie it was something of its own and the mask that you put on and kills you or whatever it did it was um it was pretty good for the most part. But then you get into Halloween 4, then 5, then 6. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> all them movies, I mean. Then you got the niece of Michael Myers. Then you got the curse of Michael Myers. I mean, yeah, everybody went in their own path in, the, you know, in directions with their own way of how Michael Myers portrayed himself. <clears throat> but 
I mean, don't get me wrong, also H2O and Resurrection was pretty good. I mean, let alone, you know, being, um, uh, you know, still keeping, and I think Jamie Lee Curtis even said at that time, you know, she was done doing the Halloween movies because they were just, you know, going in their own direction. And right, for anybody to think and why they put Laurie Strode, you know, being a sister of Michael Myers is just a, a, a ridiculous um, <laughs> task they made up, you know. Oh, let's be, make, I don't know how they even started that. I mean, and then she had a kid and it was her niece that was getting chased by him and she had psychic powers and, you know, it just kind of get off track. Like I say, who the hell makes a sister that ain't a sister? <laughs> it's just, it was just insane how they went off everything. But um, to see this come back to life and how they did this movie, oh, oh, oh man. I guarantee, you know what, I, I one word, masterpiece. And to get John Carpenter back in there to throw a little bit of his magic on the writer's behalf was the right thing to do and even let Jamie Lee Curtis step in as it said executive producer I think in the beginning oh, I forgot I had to go over this um movie that's coming up I forgot I this was a pretty cool movie and I forgot to do a movie review on that one but that will be coming up soon <clears throat> so yes this part two of Halloween Kills, of course, starts right right off the end of the other one. Now, I am not going to give no details, too much details in this movie, but, oh, I'm sorry, because I can't. You have to watch this to get the idea of it is right. And, um, but not only, like I say, do they bring, you know back the um the concept of this whole movie they literally go back to 1978 too just to get you back into the um all I can say get back right into the role of it all in the role of it and how they portrayed this and got this done man like I said masterpiece and I can't wait to see the last movie of course this is your kill count yeah I try to get some pictures but <laughs> I got blurry ones of course there's the man himself and there's Dr. Loomis and I don't know how they did this but they because I think I thought they read that guy passed away but they literally got him back in this movie. It's like, wow, friggin' awesome. And, um, of course, the, uh, here's where the title comes in. <laughs> and there's a little party at the bar, Halloween party, where everybody's um, enjoying themselves, not knowing of the chaos of the first movie that just happened. And one thing I like about this movie, they bring back the original police officer in 1978 of uh, the, uh, the police officer that came out of the store to speak to his daughter. He's in this movie. Anthony Michael Hall is in this movie, man. I love him as an actor, and there he is right there. And, man, did he... Check him out. He is rough. Oh, oh, man. But just the people they got back in this movie, and I do believe they got the original nurse that first got attacked when he escaped the mental institution. Um... I don't know if the kids, well, no, you know, if you remember the kids that survived with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis in the 1978, um, 
that's who Anthony Michael Hall is supposed to be and the girl they brought in. I don't know if she, you know, and I can't tell you how Michael Myers escapes. I mean, you might have seen it in the previews, but I'll just show you some pictures of how he comes out. But the girl, I don't know, I don't think it's the original girl either, but they supposedly brought them back in character to Anthony Michael Hall and some other girl. And then you got the, I believe, is the original nurse. And all the, and in this movie, man, oh, God, the kill count is awesome. I mean, this is one brutal film. And, I mean, it does probably surpass Rob Zombie's kill count in both movies. Probably put together. I'm sorry, man, but ooh, ooh, it is nasty in this movie. Of course, you got this part where the guy thought he was going to pull a fast one with a uh, demo saw. So. <laughs> and you got this couple, man. These are two funny characters right here, boy. <laughs> the black lady's talking about to this white guy. I guess they live together, but uh, he's talking about Laurie Strode and... Black lady says, oh, that woman will, you better watch what you say about her because she'll fuck you up. <laughs> oh, they got jokes galore in here and everything, too. But the suspense and the brutality, and this poor woman gets brutalized in the movie. <laughs> As you can see here, I think. Goddamn stabbed her with a light, uh, for us a light bulb. And then their husband there, or whatever he is, she's watching this guy. I can't even say what he does to the guy right here, because you got to watch it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just nuts. Just nuts what he does to this guy laying on the counter. I mean... There's just so much action, so much um, suspense, and it keeps you, you know, just going with everything. I mean, my wife and kids were complaining because it, it was a shitload of people tonight. But mind you, they were, oh my God, people were in and out of the theater like idiots. It was like, and I was focused on this movie, and there was people in my way, and I didn't even acknowledge they were there because that's how much this movie kept me focused on. I was focused all on this movie. I didn't even pay attention to nobody. It's people talking in there. I didn't even care. I was enjoying this movie. And there's the original cop right there, man. You can see how <laughs> he got, he was a young buck back then. He still looks the same, but older. But yeah, this, this movie kept me um, really just watching it. That's how intense this film is, and that's how good this film is. Of course, I like to take my pictures. Uh, the daughter here in the last one. I mean, the granddaughter. And then you got the mother here of the, uh, <clears throat> of the daughter. And she literally rips Michael Myers' mask right off his face. But you got to see the movie to see what happens next. And that's where I end it right here, folks. She literally grabbed his mask. <laughs> and what she does to him in the house before, you know, she got there with her, dip, I mean, with her daughter standing, sitting there laying on the floor like you've seen. And what the mother comes up and does, it's like, whoa. It's like the concept of an overkill song, evil never dies. And that's exactly what in this film, too, man. It just literally, you can't kill it. So it's going to be very interesting of what they do in the last installment for this series, man. And um, really just, I can't wait. I just can't wait. You know, that 
thought this movie came out in 2019, but I guess it came out in 2018, but, oh man, I couldn't wait for this one, now the third one's gonna be just as, oh, insane, I can just imagine what's gonna come out of it, but, everybody gotta get out to see this film, if you haven't seen the first one, get it, if you haven't seen the very 78 first one, get that one too, and um, it will all add up by the time you get to number two here. A three. Actually, this is three. So there's only, in my eyes, is right. What they tried to do and what they did do was going to make four movies for the Michael Myers series and chop out every other one that's ever been made. And it needs to be done that way because, like I said, they went just too far with other stuff and... <clears throat> every other it don't make no sense it just don't fit in but once you get these four movies man this is gonna be the best classic hey, movie series in history i will recommend that this will be one of the top best films um in history for how it is set up right now but Get out, watch Halloween Kills. Get out, watch the first Halloween, first two. And then be prepared for number three, folks, because you're going to be friggin' amazed at what comes up next. And um, for damn sure, you're going to be watching a masterpiece unfold. To the next video, folks, be safe, take care, and always watch Halloween, one of my favorite favorite movies of all time slasher flicks and the way it was put together now it makes it even effing better out